Hi everyone, my name is Linda Gilbert and I'm really happy to uh, introduce to you um, an idea that I've been having lately um, to put on a series of live stream uh, online programs about the aspects as I see them, of violin pedagogy. And uh, in case uh, you're not aware of my background, if you haven't had a chance to read um, in the description, uh, so a little bit about myself. Uh, I was born in Sydney, Australia, and um, I, at the age of 21, I moved to Russia after many years of study already of the violin in Australia, um, I decided to move to Moscow, to Russia, and pursue further study over there. And so uh, the aspects of violin pedagogy, of course, um, is a very uh, well-known fact that, of course, in Europe uh, and Russia and those parts of the world, um, they are really blessed with um, the wonderful culture and the history of um, violin playing and also the art of teaching. And I really have a, um, a passion for both performing and teaching as well. Uh, and lately I've just been having this idea that I should um, for my YouTube channel that I would like to set up a series of online uh, programs that I will be uh, giving t little talks and demonstrations about uh, aspects of violin pedagogy. Um, just going on now, uh, just so you've got some background as to um, what I did in my student days, I went on, as I said, to study in Russia and in Moscow and it was a great experience and life-changing event for me to study in Moscow at the Tchaikovsky Conservatory and I spent, of course, several years uh, doing that degree and that degree really opened a lot of things for me um, and showed me so many things um, about not only um, the culture musically of Russia and opened up more opportunities for me across the board of uh, violin playing and teaching, but it really uh, helped me to understand the, the history um, behind these pedagogical ideas. And um, so I guess uh, that's the background for why I've um, had this idea of doing these series of programs and today won't be the first actual um, demonstration but this is just an introductory um, live little session to um, go through and talk about the different things that we'll be addressing uh, during these online uh, sessions and so my aim, of course, is to start with the basics. So we go back to the basics. When we're dealing with um, young children, beginners, that stage, um, and I am looking forward to bringing you my, um, my views and my, um, my ways of teaching um, via this online uh, program and talking a little bit about how I do things uh, when I teach um, the very young beginners. Um, it's a very critical stage of their musical life. So um, I really believe that it's very, very, very important to have to enable the student to have the tools later to be able to tackle the repertoire and um, perform on the concert stage. Um, it's very important to instill in, in the child not only
love for music making and a love for the instrument, but also um, the correct technical setup um, dealing with technique. It's really, really important that that child um, learns to not only um, execute those uh, different uh, technical basics and have that technical foundation and know how to get it, but they, um, the teacher in in my um, way of of perceiving this, um, the teacher needs to um, really instill uh, an understanding so that uh, the child can appreciate the value of these technical principles of playing. Uh, and of course, um, such principles, uh, we go back in the history, uh, where do we find, you know, these different principles, where did they come from? Well, of course, um, it is a well-known uh, documented fact that uh, Russia um, produced many, many great performers of the past and present. And um, I... Through my study there, I picked up just so much of the school of technique, technique and um, the way they play. And, of course, that is not the only way um, to play, but I um, really found it to be the most absorbing um, time in my development, uh, learning to be a teacher. And so now that um, those days are finished, um, and I teach and I pass on all my knowledge. Um, I really, um, my, my aim is to really get the student to be so appreciating the value of these principles that they will um, be able to eventually um, take it upon themselves to be their own teacher because even in the early stages, I think this is very important that the student, that the young beginner does not always just rely on the presence of the pedagogue, the teacher um, there to just tell them uh, this should be that way or this should be this way. Um, I think it's very important that they um, learn to be mobile and they learn to be their own teacher in their home practising. And it's very important um, also we'll be dealing with the um, art of practicing, how to really get the most out of practice sessions. Because um, particularly in the young stage, in the beginner stage, um, of course you get the, the keen ones and the, the young ones, they're very, very keen to just get into it, some of, some of them. And, um, but it's also important, that's great, but it's also important to uh, on the teacher's um, role is how to get them to understand what they're doing and why. And so we'll, I look forward to dealing with these kinds of topics um, in my online programs. And, of course, um, due to COVID-19, it's been necessary for me to um, start more online teaching. And so um, that, of course, in itself is a challenge. But um, that's another reason I thought that it would be really great to um, start this um, series of programs and as I said, uh, yeah, that not only playing violin is my passion, but also passing on this great knowledge um, pedagogically to as many as I can. And, of course, uh, you know, what I have to share, um, you may have different views on it, um, but um, it's really just my uh, my take on everything and um, from which I've uh, gained the expert uh, knowledge and the um, proven um, good principles how to play uh, different things and why uh, all that I actually learned when I was a student myself uh, in my younger days and particularly as I said when I moved to study at the Moscow Conservatory um, that was a really great step in my um, development to become a teacher as well. So um, I'm really happy to hear from you and you might like to drop a comment um, and and let me know um, if you're interested. But um, this is just 
um, today the introductory um, video to show you and and discuss um, what will be covered in these uh, programs. So, um, yeah, what will actually be covered? So we start with like the basics of, of playing. So, um, of course, these are very, very um, wide and, and big topics to deal with. So really, um, yeah, they perhaps one program may not cover everything, of course, um, you know, of my thoughts on, on a particular topic. But um, we will be spreading out in those cases over several programs, um, different topics, and I'll be looking forward to um, describing, um, putting in the description online there what we'll be doing in the next program in advance of each of them. So you'll be able to see and follow um, the whole thing. And, yeah, I also believe very firmly in um, demonstration, the good and the right demonstration um, of the teacher to the student. So we'll be doing a lot of that. Um, of course, it's just me in this video but um, due to COVID-19, but I really um, look forward to the time where I'll be able to add some videos with my actual um, hands-on teaching uh, with a student. So I really um, would love to invite you to watch these programs as they come and there'll be about one or two a week and please feel free to share them with your friends again um, we will be covering these um, foundational basics um, firstly so of course the, the topics like you know how to actually um, get a good sound and how to develop um, control of the bow, you know, all these um, details in these topics will um, be covered and um, it may be over several programs, it may be over one, different things. So I'm really excited about this opportunity to bring you these programs and not only, of course, um, the control of the bow but also um, the control of the left hand. There's just so many things um, in the beginning stage that, if not taught um, by the teacher, then, of course, uh, the student just falls into the many uh, traps of getting ingrained into um, bad habits that later can be very hard to iron out. So um, things like uh, string crossing, for example, and um, intonation, and different bow strokes, um, you know, how to play legato and also the topic on vibrato will be looked at further down the track. So all these different things um, are so important to um, the young student and as teachers I believe it's our greatest responsibility to um, not only show the student correctly and and tell them and explain to them clearly and um, be very analytical um, and also creative in the approach, but also to make those, um, to, to bring about um, a real appreciation in the student and instill in them this um, great uh, way to play. You know, we need to really have the student to love what they're doing. And so to appreciate these technical principles is, is my first um, goal to, to help teachers to understand, um, yeah, how to really help the student to enjoy what they're doing because they understand uh, what they're doing. So, of course, um, I also believe in a highly um, creative approach to pedagogy and I think that um, it's going to be really exciting to share with you um, my different um, strategies, my different ways of uh, dealing with this and in a creative way uh, so that the students really enjoy the learning but also um, they are learning to be eventually their own uh, tutor and their own teacher and when they're practicing at home as I said so that they understand what they're doing and how to practice um, yeah because it's uh, all very well of course for the student to to love the violin but um, the poor student will quickly get so discouraged if they are not 
um, steered in the right direction uh, pedagogically by the teacher. So I really, um, I think that uh, my experience as a player and my experience as a teacher, uh, of course, I'm still young myself, but I really think that um, as this is a passion that I have besides playing, I think it's important for me um, and it's great that I am, I have this opportunity to share um, on a great wider scale um, online in this way um, about my teaching and um, the a bit more about the principles of actually these basics because it's really in the basics of learning to play um, that we equip ourselves to be able to play the concert repertoire later. And, of course, we'll be dealing with things like scales as well. Um, yeah, any by the way, anything that you would really um, like to see or that you're interested in, um, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be really happy um, to answer any questions and so forth and so on. So, um, yeah, I will uh, plan to do these um, up to a couple of times weekly. So um, there will also be um, in advance of those programs plenty of um, little promo videos so that you'll be able to um, be primed up for what's coming and please feel free to share that with your um, colleagues, friends, anyone uh, that you think may be interested to watch and um, I might add that you don't have to be um, a violinist and or a teacher to actually enjoy these videos. Um, I can promise you that um, these I look forward to doing in a very um, hands-on but also um entertaining way that will engage um, wider audiences. And so I really look forward to bringing you these programs. Uh, I think that students deserve, you know, um, to really uh, get to know the the inside um, factors about playing and the technique and everything involved. Really, um, they deserve to know about this. And it's not just something that, you know, we say, well, you know, let's just wait until you're a bit older and a bit bit more sort of have, had a bit more experience playing and then you'll find out. Actually, I, I don't believe that. I think that um, on the contrary, we need as teachers to, um, from the very beginning, um, go through it and in, in a way, of course, that um, the children can feel engaged and excited about and that they want to um, try it out for themselves and at, and open up for themselves new discoveries, um, that's that's all um, important. But I think unless we actually as teachers, um, you know, take them through these very, very crucial basics to form a firm foundation, unless we do that, then um, the student will only um, get hugely discouraged later on and in not too much later either, I think that um, even early on, it's it's a tragedy when I see, you know, um, how young children are struggling um, with their studies and learning and it's simply because um, they seem to be um, not understanding about these different basics and these principles um, of playing. And, of course, um, you know, um, this is just my approach personally, to um, teaching and, and um, gleaned from from what I have gone through myself in my younger student days um, and my experiences and my new adventures um, that were in Russia and um, also from what I learned in Europe a little bit. Um, but, you know, now that I'm not a student anymore, um, I think that it's really a great chance for me to share and pass on this knowledge. It's so important for me to do that, I think. And so I'm really, really excited to do it. Um, so, yeah, um, I just invite you to um, tune in and um, have a listen and invite your friends. And please feel free to um, have a check out of some of the, the videos um, that will be coming up and to promote this program, um, these programs, these series um, 
this series of programs dedicated to violin pedagogy and its aspects. Uh, so I've hope I hope that you've enjoyed watching, and I look forward to um, next weekend when we will do our first program. And before that, there will be plenty of um, little clips to share with your friends as a sneak peek as to what we'll be covering. So I look forward to spending time um, with you on these great, exciting topics. And um, there's just so much that we can learn, even as professionals, um, as to, you know, how to re relate to individuals and how to tackle different problems um, in, in learning. So I really um, would encourage you to stay tuned and to join me next Sunday at 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for the first in our series of programs um, in my new series on aspects of violin pedagogy. So look forward to seeing you and bye for now.